y'all, you want to oh, hang no. Abraham Lincoln on your tree? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to do that. <laughs> somewhere to do something i don't know what yet we don't know what yet i made these earrings this morning though i think they came out pretty cute um yeah so we'll see where we end up guess who's at dollar tree again what a freaking surprise <laughs> So I got some stocking stuffers and a couple of, yeah, stocking stuffers. That's what they would, that's what they would be. I'll do a little mini haul of some of the stuff that I got uh, when I get home. It's not too much. Sorry if there's air blowing into the microphone, but we have the air conditioning on because for some reason it's November 25th and it's like 68 degrees out. What the fuck? Okay, we're gonna do another really quick haul. I'm gonna go try to go as fast as possible with this. Again, Mama Blaze, skip to the time right here because I, I don't wanna spoil some things for you. Okay, so the first thing that I got, I actually picked up at Safeway um, and is gonna be Mama Blaze's Hanukkah gift. She, her favorite thing is lions and this is a unicorn lion. Look at how freaking cute this is. Does it have a name? It's gonna have a name. Ramsey. <gasps> Ramsey Bolton. She's not gonna name it after that. She's gonna name it whatever she wants to. So, but super, super cute. And from Dollar Tree, just picked up some more canvases, four more canvases. For the candy dishes down here, I picked up some candy, some Jolly Treats, milk chocolate flavored from Palmer. Just these little balls, <laughs> chocolate, chocolate salty balls. Um, and also from Palmer, their milk chocolate coins. This is Hanukkah Gelt, okay? That's what this is. Y'all can't mess with me. I I grew up in a Jewish family. This is Hanukkah Gelt, okay? But, so these are going in the dishes. This is going to be a stocking stu stuffer for Mama Blaze because she loves this kind of thing. Um, and we'll go through this like crazy. So this is from Sassy and Chic. It's a spa gift set, five piece. So pretty, it's like a purple lavender -y, sparkly thing. So it comes with glitter tumbler, which is this. I'm sure she'll find a use for it. Uh, a nail file, a nail clipper, nail brush, and a bath sponge, which she always is losing hers and needs more and borrowing things of mine, like my nail clipper and nail files and stuff. And she goes through these sponges like it's nobody's business. So I'm gonna put this in her stocking and I think it'll be really cute. He's literally right next to me, so I don't want it to make any sound. And it says dog toy, but who cares? There were so many different animals, but since I love like leopards and stuff, I got Dexter another toy. So I got him three toys. So he's, his Christmas holiday gifts are done. Maybe I'll give him this for Hanukkah and his other two for Christmas. So this is, and it makes that crackly sound that he likes, so uh, he's gonna absolutely go crazy for this. I found one of these that I just got one the other day, probably a much better quality one at Walmart, but I wanted to like practice with this and also I want multiple of these because I have horrible, horrible anxiety and stress and panic attacks, hi. These are the bubble snap pop things, by the way, like the stress poppers, if you don't know what this is, so. That's what that is from LA Colors. Um, I'm this is my first time seeing their lashes, so I got their dramatic, dramatic lash false eyelashes in delightful. Um, the band seems really thin, and the lashes are really pretty. I think I might put this in my stocking, and I'm definitely putting this in my stocking. This LED projector light. It's supposed to project like the moon and stars onto your ceiling, which like love i would love to put that next to my bed so i think this would be cute to put in my stocking finally they restocked my favorite glue in the entire world this is the best glue ever like 
I think it even beats Gorilla Glue. Yes, I said what I said. It's the original Super Glue Fix All Adhesive. So definitely get yourself a hand, your hands on that glue when you go to Dollar Tree. I got this like child's size Santa sequency hat that has a little princess crown on it because um, I wanna put it on one of my Reborns, uh, Rowan, because I'm gonna be taking like Christmas photos of them all because we had this also like this like doll sled or like small children's sled antique that my dad's gonna sell but he said he wanted me to take some pictures of the kid the dolls in it um, first in their like little Christmassy outfits since I love doing photography and videography with them so I think this will be really cute on her and the last thing I got I cannot wait to try I'm gonna try after this um, I actually got from the plus section this is from the brand hype it's their six inch LED ring light right here as you can see so um it's three uh color temperatures cool natural and warm 10 brightness levels 10 brightness levels that's pretty good tripod included universal gooseneck phone mount flexible socket for all adjusting angles and usb cable for charging adjustable clamp com uh compatible with any cell phone so for five bucks uh, hopefully this is really good. I'm hoping because, because this could be very useful to me. I was lying. That's not the last thing because I was just showing my mom this before. Oh, well, first of all, I got us some stuff for when we are drinking our hot cocoa. Um, these two, cause it comes with two. So that's perfect. Like how perfect it's BPA free and everything and microwave safe and dishwasher safe. So that's perfect. I saw two of these letters, uh, letter ornaments, and I was like, oh, I wish they had all our letters. So I did just, just take a peek. They only had four letters, and they only had these specific four letters, okay? Um, there's somebody in this house that has a name that starts with K. So we have a K ornament that has the holly and berries and whatnot. J, Mama Blaze's first name. S, Sister Blaze's first name. And L, Papa Blaze's first name. Those were the only letters they had in stock. That's like some cosmic universe you need to pick these up type things. So I'm gonna go put these on the tree right now. That's insane. So just woke up, Mama Blaze and I are gonna go to the Ark, the thrift store. Um, I don't know if we're gonna stop by Sisters afterwards or if we're just doing the Ark right now, but we're definitely heading out to the Ark. I've been painting, um, I haven't slept. I painted something of Mayer and something from the ref for my mother, she commissioned it. Um, I'll show you later in the video of that because it's fun. <laughs> I want this knight in shining armor. What is this one? Uh, I want you. Hello, friend. And it's only 25 bucks. Hell yeah. That is one sad, cold looking Santa. <laughs> For my scrapbook. This is so pretty. There's so much cute Christmas stuff. <gasps> I want to try to find a special ornament. Y'all, you want to hang Abraham Lincoln on your tree? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to do that. Okay, so I'm not going to show everything we got. We got lots of Christmas stuff because we wanted to go all out this year, have like a winter wonderland. That's what we keep saying um, in our house. Um, so I'll show like all that in, a, I don't know if it'll be this vlog or the next vlog, whatever, when everything is done decorate, we are, we're done decorating. I also picked up a bunch of winter slash Christmas clothes for 
the babies, my reborn dolls. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on that, just like a separate haul on that. Um, so I'm not going to show that, but I'll show you everything else I got. I only got a few other things. So these are like make your own ornaments, like paint them, like, and it comes with a bunch of them. So we got some Christmas trees, stockings, sleighs, and ornaments. So I, you guys know my crafting, I never stop. These stickers, these gorgeous vintage looking stickers for my scrapbook. We got some Santas and some reindeer and just uh, toy sacks and everything. Today was also 50% off day, that's why we went. Oh, there's even, it's double-sided. There's so much more. <sighs> I picked this up because this was just so, so freaking cute. My my first little Hanukkah pop-up book. Like, stop. I might send that to my cousin for her daughter. Um, or I might keep it and like, for my reborns. <laughs> and this is my favorite thing. I also got three uh, tops for myself, but this is probably my favorite purchase. Love, absolutely love these beautiful succulents in this like gold holder with the like the white pot. It's they're obviously fake, but this is going straight into my room. It is so classy, so modern and pretty, and I really want to start doing. Um, like a lot more greenery in my room, like Rivendell type greenery and stuff like that. And that's why I'm going to be redoing my whole room for 2023. That's like one of my goals. I really want to do like my, like just redo everything in my room. And we finally got a tree skirt from Walmart that Dexter is having lots of fun with. Great. Um, it feels really nice and it's really cute and pretty and it matches really, really well with our treat, which makes us very happy. I will show one decoration because we were finally able to add to the family, sort of. So if you guys have been following my Vlogmas um, in 2020, I introduced you to our mamas and papas um, that we have been collecting for years. But since the pandemic, for some reason, I understand like not getting shipments in one year, um, but they don't sell them at the store we got them from anymore uh, the past few years. So um, we've been scouring, but we found one that's not the same exact thing, but it's close enough and we just fell in love with him. So we got a new Papa this year. I don't remember the names of every single one of them. So like, maybe I'll try to go find a clip of that and insert it in here. I wanted to introduce you guys. So if you watched my collective haul, you'll see that we got this beautiful, beautiful man. Uh, my mom has been collecting from King Supers uh, every year because they're like our favorite things ever. Uh, so he has a name, his name is Kristoff. So that is Kristoff. I want to introduce you to the rest of the mamas and the papas, not the band. Don't get them confused. So this beautiful woman is Hildegard right here. There she is in her red flannel. Love it. And then we have Samuel right here, who I think is my favorite papa. I think he's everybody's favorite papa. His list really does have real names on it. It's really cool. So there they are. And then we have Elsa right here. Look at, she's got some treats and a basket and some presents. Ooh, ooh so fancy, slaying in red. And lastly, we have Ezekiel, who is killing it in his outfit. But here are some of the mamas and the papas. If you have not seen that. So that's right here. God, I love their, hold, hold on, let me turn the heater off. Just for a minute, okay, I love their outfits, it's so cool. So we usually give them Scandinavian names. I realize a lot of those names are not Scandinavian. I meant like old timey names, okay, okay. Because that's what we, we like. This is probably our favorite Papa, but introducing the newest Papa with his staff. 
his rose, his pink, like his pink outfit. Look at this. Look at this. He's so pretty. Look at this. Look at this. And his little bell. He's got a little present. And what the hell? Oh, is this like to like ward off evil? <gasps> Bitch. I'm in love. So his name. Ah, hi, honey. I was like, he is a little bit smaller than everybody else. Should we name him Gimli? But <laughs> we decided with his staff and everything. And since we love the name, we have named him Noah. Okay, again, I feel stupid. I don't know for either both myself or my mother. I don't know. Shouldn't his name have been Moses with the staff? Or did Noah have a staff putting animals on the ark? I don't know. So, welcome Noah to the family. <laughs> ha, I told you. But first... Sweetheart, you are the most shiksa looking girl I've ever seen. Most boyum little girl I've ever seen. Are you sure you're not an imposter? <laughs> but in this adorable pop-up book that I was, when I was sanitizing it, I was looking through the pages and it says, in a pouch that's made of felt are candy coins. We call them gelt. Look at the, the shiksa holding up the candy coins. That are called gelt. It says lift. Look at how freaking adorable this is. But look, okay? They're Hanukkah gelt. They are not chocolate milk chocolate candy coins. All right? Read your Hanukkah pop up books. So it's the end of the night, and I just got out of a bath, and I am going to sit back and relax. I'll probably make myself a cup of tea. And thinking of the name Gimli earlier uh, reminded me it's been a couple months since I watched. Uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, so I'm watching The Fellowship. I'm starting The Fellowship right now. Um, the extended cut, of course. So I'm gonna sit back and watch my obsession since I was a, 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 a child. Yeah, I've been listening to Christmas music because I'm crafting. And speaking of crafting, I'm gonna do my craft that I've been looking forward to for a while now. So it's a Dollar Tree craft and I want you guys to do it with me. So
it the best? No, because it doesn't have a covering and I really wanted it to have a covering, but this was the best they had at that Dollar Tree at that time. Um, but I think it just came out cute and I didn't know if I was gonna be able to fit as much as I was gonna, uh, that's what he said. Uh, but I think it came out sort of cute. So we got oh, Santa and the snowman, snowman and his mailbox. And we got two trees in there and the faux snow. So I think it's really cute to put on display as long as Dexter does not knock it over. So we have to put it someplace high. But honestly, putting it someplace high probably will still not stop him from knocking it over. I got like two hours of sleep and then my one of my neighbors decided to blast in their car that song Monster. I think that's what it's called, or Monsters. One of the two. Monster, how should I feel? Creatures die here, looking through our windows. All right, at least it was like a fun song. I, I'm not mad about the song. I'm just mad about like the volume and the bass. So, and the sleep is interruptus. Yeah, okay. So I think I learned <laughs> That you guys know how, like, um, there's alcohol-free beer, um, and how, like, there's always going to be, like, that 0.02% alcohol that's actually going to be in there. Um, I think that's, like, a true fact. That's what I've heard, at least. From the days and weeks of research <laughs> that I have done... I think I've learned that there's always going to be minute traces of talc or mica or something along those lines in even talc-free or mica-free or whatever the hell you want to call it makeup. I think it's kind of inevitable, um, except I think Makeup Revolution and a lot of their products um, has zero. I, I'm, don't quote me on that, but I believe so. And if so, I'm going to ask for a couple of those products for Christmas. I don't know, but I don't know if I, uh, we can afford to do that. I, I'm not sure yet. But after scouraging the internet for a couple days after I did the decluttering and just you have no idea how frustrating that was and how like enraged I was because I just everything <laughs> has talc and mica or wanna beach or both or just just so such bad ingredients and I was just like <laughs> um but I did find one um that said it was clean and and that is the physician's formula I don't like I don't like the name. It's called Rosé All Play. <laughs> but, like, even my mom agreed. I need a eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette. Like, I, I just, I can't not have an eyeshadow palette. I need at least one. So this is going to be just, like, my eyeshadow palette for now. Just the one I'm working with. However, it isn't completely talc free. There are a couple shades that have minute traces of talc, which I think I've learned, like I said, um, is kind of inevitable. Um, some of the um, shades in here don't have any, so I don't know why they couldn't make all of their shades not have any. But these are the colors. They're really super pretty, and I am going to use this, um, and I'll try to use the uh, shades that have the talc in it less um and also it's just like most important and they even tell you this in the documentary and like they just tell you it's very important and i have to like assault yeah. uh you have to like retrain your brain because they tell you this like is ex this is like the most extremely important thing you know when you're putting on eyeshadow or blush or bronze or whatever the hell and you tap your brush to get the excess off don't do that that's how it in you inhale it and it gets into your eyes it gets into your nose it gets into your mouth 
all the all the orifices so um don't do that and i i keep having to remind myself every single time i put on makeup don't do that and i catch myself doing that so it is something you have to kind of like retrain your brain to do anyway i'm going to try to film today but what i'm definitely going to do out of these like make your own ornament things that i got from the crap the thrift store i'm going to make a little stocking ornament because I know I'm trying to like move on but like for in memory we have one for kitty of course like of course that's a family thing um but I've had one for Michael since the first Chris Christmas first Christmas marriage 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 is what brings us together today since 2015 when he died you guys know the spider-man one i have but i never got one for Corey. and like when i said yesterday when we were at the thrift store i was trying to find one that would represent Corey, and none of them really it felt like that i mean there was like ones that were like for angels and stuff like that but like it didn't that's not that's not him but like i thought like i would just like paint one myself and just write something that meant something for us on there and make a little ornament for him just just in his memory we only got to have two christmases together and that really sucks well one and a half christmases together so but you know i think this will be cute enough and it'll keep me busy it won't make me sad i mean of course it makes me sad but it'll make me happy that i can have a little piece of him during the So I finished the ornament made for Cory. That's his name. <laughs> Obviously. So yeah, it came out really cute, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead. Also, look what Mama Blaze got from Walmart. It's a Chanaka wizard gnome wizard. A uh, Hanukkah was was uh, Hanukkah wizard no Hanukkah it's it's a Jewish gnome wizard <laughs> Hanukkah yay it almost looks like a rabbi <laughs> that I used to know <laughs> he's so cute I love him hi Papa Noah how you settling in how do you like your brethren good. Okay, so if you guys have been following me, we add to our village every, I think I said that in one of my recent videos, but our little Christmas village, we add to it every year, and we're going to have to evict some of our, some of our uh, village uh, residents because we got some new things. Some of them are from uh, the thrift store and some of them are from Walmart, so uh, my mom got these little children right here really cute and she got these cows that are with a little kitty on a haystack in the snow look at these look at how cute that is so those are from walmart and then from um the thrift store we got these everything i saw that could go into our little village my mother was the one who sent me on a mission. She's just like, Blaze, this one. Or, Blaze, go, 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 go. Just anything for the village. And she just like, anything I found, she just grabbed it out of my hand. So it says, in the spirit, we got a little polar bear putting a star on a, on a really icy tree. That's cute. I don't even remember because I just picked up things and my mother took it from me. Um, so we got a man playing, I guess, a tree. A horn of some sort. I've got to take the sticker off. So, and they were all like twenty, like twenty cents. We got some very angry and sus-looking children waiting <laughs> um, for something. I don't know. By a lamp post, we got these kids look. Uh, these kids are angry. What? Uh, kids, do not be angry. You're coming into a very nice village. Oh, this Santa has to go with the other Santas. He does not go into the village, but look at the cute little puppies he has. Oh, you better not feed them those candy canes, sir. Um, is that? Oh, no, we got one more item. We got 
a family. Whoa. So we have a demon family. <laughs> like Slender Man's family, except they're not tall. But they're pulling a sleigh that has their Christmas tree they're going to decorate. So yeah, those are our newest additions to their, our village that we're going to have. Um, so I'm excited. Okay, well I'm going to be going to sleep in a few minutes. Um, just got done watching Willy Wonka, or yeah, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Not Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I mean, Tim Burton, I love you. Johnny Depp, I love you. Just monstrosity. Before I go to bed, I wanted to show my mom's advent calendar that I personally thought of and made this year. Um, because by the time you see this, it'll be after December 1st, so we're good. So I got this box at Dollar Tree. I also got the pack of stickers that this came with at Dollar Tree. So um, yeah, I decided to put it in a box because I wanted to be nice and neat. So um, I guess I'll show. I mean, you've seen that last. So this year has been shit for my family, as you guys know. Um, we've had a lot of really, really horrible and bad things happen this year. This is this year's pretty much for us been 2020 the chapter or the sequel. The chap I was gonna say the chapter two, but or, or, this is a sequel. Um and my mother's always complaining that she doesn't have any like actual photos like that she could hold in her hands. So I went to Walgreens and had a bunch more than 24 so she can fill up more but um, and envelopes that I did not know were going to be too small, but it works. So I decorated each photo and laid out what I thought would be uh, best for the days. And just did every day leading up to the 24th. You get the point. <laughs> no problem. Um, of different photos of times that were not shit this year that were happy memories so and to go with that I got her um, this black photo album from Walmart um, that can hold I think uh, like six oh no 60 pages um, and I just put some stickers on it that says with love on it and um, these two like raised 3d heart stickers um also all these are from dollar tree so she can put each day each photo in the photo album so i think she's gonna be really emotional and really happy with this and i thought it was and my father and my sister both thought that this was a very creative idea um and that she's really really gonna like this and i really hope she does because like i did put a lot of thought into it <laughs> so um, I really hope she likes it, and afterwards she can take all the other pictures that I did, decided not to put in here, and she can put them in the photo album anyway. So I'm going to head to bed now, and I will pick up tomorrow probably. I'm going to film my Reborn thrift haul that I did with getting them their winter slash Christmas outfits, um, and I'll get that out sometime in December and I'm also going to do my reborn reveal in December. I know I was supposed to do it in August and then lots of shit happened and then I was supposed to do it in September and October and just <laughs> it's 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 been a lot this year guys but let's just end it here happy. I love this new cardigan that I got at the thrift store. Got it for like two dollars on sale. It's like boho chic. Very boho chic. I love it so much. Anyway, um, if you haven't already and you'd like to, please go down below, hit the subscribe button, and subscribe to this channel right now. And we've become a blazer and a part of the Blaze Nation. We'd love to have you here as long as you're as wicked as we are. And the gnomes love you. Some of them are getting caught in the foliage. And I will speak to you guys very, very soon. Until next time, my wicked ones. Sorry, my face is a little shiny in some places. I put face moisturizer on. Stay wicked.